Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Debra, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video for this week. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you do. So today, I want to talk to you guys about what's in my bag. So this is the bag that I've been using recently. It's a Zara backpack. Um, it's really cute, I think. Um, gray with you know little brass detailing. Um, it's yeah, it's in my favorites video. So yeah, you guys can check it out there. Um, one thing I will say about this backpack, if anyone is planning on getting this backpack, which in just any bag that is unlined leather on the inside, because this one is an unlined leather on the inside, and uh, well, let me tell ya. So this is the first time I got a bag that was unlined on the inside, and it was terrible. Don't do it. Like, seriously, don't do it. Um, it's sheds all over your stuff and I googled and I tried to find something like how can I get rid of it or stop it and apparently you can't and so I just really hated it thankfully I went to Daiso which is just uh, like has everything and I bought this little drawstring bag which is also like a bronzy color similar to the detailing on the bag and so I just put this whole eh, drawstring bag inside the backpack so it serves as kind of a lining and thankfully that works so if you can do something like that then then I guess it doesn't really matter if the bag is online but if you can't like I just would not recommend it it just so is not worth it I really really disliked it so lesson learned and yeah passing on that tip to you guys. So let's get into what's in my bag. So I have my wallet, a must of course. Um, Ray-Ban sunglasses. Uh, I really like Ray-Ban because these are really cute, they're colorful and fun. Um, but I really like to carry Ray-Bans as just kind of in my bag all the time because the case is small because there's some sunglasses where like just the case fills up half your bag and that really annoys me because I already carry way too many things in my bag so yeah uh, this is my key pouch um, I like to keep my keys in here because then they don't scratch up my bag if I have a nicer bag that I'm using um, and it just keeps them all in one place and I can just grab it and I know that like I have my car keys my house keys any other keys that I might need they're just all in one place and I'm not like trying to find it inside my bag. Um, I also have this little pouch where I keep my headphones and I also have these Nakamichi wireless in-ears that the, the, like their charger thing is also a wireless, like a portable charger for the phone. So um, I have the cable in here as well, just in case. So it, it's convenient and I really like these for um, as Bluetooth headphones although they do start to hurt my ear if I wear them for too long so that's that so this is a very cute little I think it's from Swarovski a uh, little cosmetics pouch which I kind of had to limit myself because I used to carry just way too much stuff in my bags like just everything and it just started to ended up being the same where like I had a bag, a purse, and it was just full of stuff that I never needed. But whenever I took something out, like that day, I would need it or someone else would ask me, oh, do you have this? And I was like, no, I took it out of my purse just today. Um, so I found this cute little uh, like cosmetics pouch and I was like, okay, Deb, anything that is not like, you know the essentials like wallet keys and that kind of stuff needs to fit in here if it doesn't fit in here you don't need to bring it along so that's what I do so I keep everything in here and actually it just makes it really easy when I'm switching purses which usually ends up being like five minutes before I need to be out the door I'm like suddenly realize oh you know what like I have another purse that would go with this outfit better than the one I currently have so it's just really easy because as long as I know I just need to grab this um, and basically my wallet and my keys and I'm good to switch bags, you know? And so it's just really easy, especially if you have a big tote 
that doesn't have a lot of you know divisors or whatever like having this just keeps everything in one place instead of like in a million different like all over your bag so the reason I really like this one is other than it being really cute with this um, these embroidered flowers because they're not like stick-ons they're actually like embroidered on this like, little black leathery thing it opens up like really nice and wide which I really like because it's yeah I hate when you have like a little bag and you're like trying to the opening is just so tiny so okay let's get into it so in here I have tissues always carry tissues I have gum chapstick which this one is really nice it's called crazy rumors spiced chai um oh, it smells it's just it, if you like chai you will like this it smells really nice i like chai i really like this um i have a little container with some ibuprofen or yeah just headache medicine my tide to go which if you've seen my um, in flight essentials, you know how essential this Tide to Go pen is, and so I always carry it with me, especially on a day to day basis. Um, the Maybelline Age Rewind uh, Dark Circle like concealer in Fair, because I use this as a highlighter um, under my eyes, and I find that I am by no means like a makeup expert. But I find that especially after a long day, if I just want to kind of like wake my, like look like I'm more awake than I am, you know, not as tired. Um, I find that if I just put on a little bit under my eyes and like, you know, blend it in, it just, because it brightens up my eyes, it just makes me look more awake, more alive. So especially if I have something after work or something, you know, kind of where I don't have time to go home and freshen up. I, yeah, I find that putting on just a little bit of like a highlighting concealer really, really helps. Um, and then this Shia Cashmere and Silk Hand Cream from Bath & Body Works. Love it. Again, it's in my in-flight essentials. Um, oh, it smells so nice. And it really just like absorbs into your hand like so fast and leaves your hands feeling like super smooth and nice. And yeah, I love it dental floss because you know um, and then I have some wet wipes just in case and of course some tempo protect which is you know just a more intense wet wipe and this one kills 99% of germs some hand sanitizer alcohol some eye drops for my contacts um, the, these are Japanese as well and they're like super minty and I love them I love them so much especially like when you've been all day in front of the computer working or whatever or in the AC and then you just put these in because you know contacts dry out your eyes naturally and oh these are really nice I really like them and then I have some NYX blotting powder this stuff is really really good um, I have combination skin and so sometimes during the day, like, I just, some days are just more oily than others. Let's be honest. And so this one, like, you really need to be careful because if you put too much on, like, you end up with, like, dry spots. And, yeah, which is crazy because I never have dry spots. Um, so I really like this uh, blotting powder. It's really nice. Um, running out of lap space. I have some the Listerine uh, breath strips as well for when you can't chew, chew gum to freshen up the breath. Um, I have this little portable perfume bottle. Oh, this is good. I made a custom perfume um, at a workshop a couple of months ago and I love it. So I put my custom scent in here which is awesome. It's so cool that I can do that. I have a custom scent. Oh. Uh, anyways, it was a really fun workshop if you're ever able to do a make your own perfume kind of workshop. Highly recommend it. It's very, very fun. Um, I have this, which is, I just don't even know what this thing is called, to be honest. Um, it's a Chinese, like, little oil thing that's really nice. If you have a headache, you put some up here. If uh, you, you're somewhere that's the smell is just not making you like making you feel nauseous just put a little bit underneath your nose and it just anyways it's just nice oh and if you get a mosquito bite and you put some on it really like stops the itching i don't like one of those all-purpose things and then i have this 
Maybelline, what is it called? Watershine Pure in B24. It's just a really nice pinky, glossy color. Um, just, yeah, sometimes I just wanna put a little something on. Um, and then I also have, for lip stuff, I have the Kiko Milano Enigma Lip Pencil that I use with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Canes. I love these two together. Actually, I really just love this one. No, yeah, this one, but whatever. But the Canes is really nice because it's kind of like a reddishy, nudey, neutral color. Like, I don't really know how to describe it, but it just, it looks really nice on. Um, gives you just a really polished look. But because it is matte, it is very drying. So just keep that in mind. But I really do like the color of that. And I like to use it with this one, the Kiko Milano Enigma Pencil in number two. Yeah, very nice combo. Um, and then I have some oil control strip uh, film, which actually I bought this like I had those before I got this and then one day I used this and then I used this and it was the biggest mistake of my life. Basically, if you're gonna use this, don't use the NYX blotting powder. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, and then I have this little like Ziploc bag with some uh, bobby pins, a hair elastic, some safety pins, just kind of some like random things that you never know you might need suddenly on the street when you're out and about. Um, and then a pen. I really like this one from Swarovski. It's got a little butterfly and it's like a rose gold color and I really like it. And then a nail file because you would be surprised how often people ask for a nail file. And sometimes I need one, but generally people are asking me for a nail file. But yeah, so that's what I have in here. So that's all the stuff I have in this little pouch. Um, and then I just put this in my bag and I am good to go and I don't have to like be searching around my purse for stuff. I know that anything I need will be in here. And if this starts to get too full and too overstuffed, then I'm like, okay, time to clean it out. And that's just one way that I found that I'm able to kind of uh, regulate my bag stuff. Because <laughs> let's be honest, your bag just starts to accumulate things and it goes crazy, people. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.